a chance to ask you about some of the new guys, Cole Swider. Well, what do you think of him and what's he kind of shown you in these couple days so far? Well, Cole's a third-year guy who's established himself as a specialist. Um, he had some really good stretches last year with Miami. Um, there were a lot of teams that were trying to get him into camp this year. We we beat out three other teams, um, which was uh, which was great. He's been here really on and off since uh, August, working out and learning kind of how we do things and stuff like that. Been a great addition. He's a guy competing for the 15th spot, and uh, you know this is an opportunity for him. How the rookies been standing out to you so far? You talked about a little bit with them after the draft, and how you've seen them integrate in this setting. Rookies are doing fine. I mean, there's always rookie stuff going on, you know, where they're just there's just certain things they just got to go through to learn. Um, you know, Furphy's had a little bit of bad luck. He's had an ankle thing, and then today he tweaked the other ankle. So you know, he's um, he's been a little in, in and out of it. Uh, you know, Freeman's doing a good job. Uh, Newton is doing is doing fine. You know, um, so you know they're they're doing they're doing good. Have you heard about Connor, Kelly, and Zach? Are there any other staff changes and have those spots been filled by others at this stage? Who? Connor McCaffrey, Zach Chu, Kelly Crosscom. Is there any other major staff changes? I don't think so. I mean, we've we've hired we hired um, somebody that's doing Chu's job now. Yeah. Do you know about that? Uh -uh. Yeah, Lauren James. She's a uh, she uh, she did a uh, internship with us two years ago, two summers ago, and then she was she was doing a uh, analytics fellowship with the Colts, and we were able to um, interview her and um, brought her on board, you know, a week ago. So she's with us, um, but you know, other than that, I mean, uh, Joel Okafor is assistant video now. He went from being a staff intern to assistant video and uh, Luke Stevens is uh, is, is uh, in a position of uh, I think we're calling it G League liaison so he'll be doing some on court stuff and um, and he'll be helping our two way guys out as they go back and forth between the G League and the, uh, and, the and the NBA team camp has to be a little bit different than last year. How much further along can you sense that the guys are? I mean, I, I think Tyrese was talking a lot about there, you don't have to necessarily go over as many basics. Basically, you're a little bit further along in terms of everybody's understanding of systems. Are, are you seeing that and how much, how, how are you seeing kind of the value of that continuity that you can kind of not skip ahead, but start ahead? Yeah, it's, we're ahead of where we were for sure um, because of continuity and also because you know our preseason work was very was very valuable, and so uh, you know the, we're no, we're not doing much standing around at all, teaching and walking through things. Um, you know I'm a, I'm a believer that players have to do things and do them more or less live situations. So we've gotten a lot of that. Um, you know our health situation is 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 a is a, uh, is a little bit. Um, tricky right now. We've got some guys with some, you know, some nagging things going on. So we're gonna we're gonna adjust the schedule. We're gonna be off tomorrow and give guys a day to recover, um, and then we'll pick up on Friday. And so, uh, you know, I think it's the the right thing to do given where we are exactly right now. I think on a Friday we'll have some guys feeling a hell of a lot better than they would have felt tomorrow, and. Um, also, uh, you know, we have, we have one player that has a family situation who won't be here tomorrow. So um, that adjustment's been made. What the, you mentioned Cole a little bit and battling for that 15th spot. Uh, how, how do you go about evaluating that? What are the things you're looking for, you know, when, when you're trying to just decide on, the, you know, what ends up being the last position in the roster? What are the things you want to see? Yeah, I mean, just how all, those, all these guys competing for it play. Um, how they compete, you know, how they manage game situations when they have chances to play. Um, and look, it's it's not for sure that we'll even keep a 15th person. I mean, someone someone's got to earn that spot. Someone earns that spot, 
you know, I'm, 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 you know, I'm pretty sure we would keep that that player, whether it's him, whether it's Kendall, whether it's you know one of the other guys that's that's presently on a two-way, you know. So that's that's kind of where that is. I'm anxious to see, you know, how these guys compete and how these guys do. They're all going really hard, you know, which is certainly not surprising. Monday, you talked a lot about how Benedict beat some of the deadlines and there was calendars that he had to progress. Do you remember back when he had the surgery whether there was certainty he'd be ready full go at the start of training camp and, and how have you seen him the first two days? Yeah, there, there was, I mean, to the extent you can be certain about anything coming off a major surgery. Um, yeah, I mean, we, we believed that he was going to be cleared late August, early September for full contact and he was he was cleared about halfway through August. So that's no surprise, you know, with him. Um, today, he he was the winner of the one-on-one -on -one again, you know, so it was, uh, you know, he's been, he's been doing a great job with individual defense. Today in the finals, it was him, Jarris was in the finals again, and uh, Aaron Neesmith. And so they, they battled it out in the, in the, in the finals, and, uh, and Ben was a winner again. So, you know, that's, that shows you something about, you know, how he's approaching this thing defensively. Is that drill something you've done before, or? Uh, yeah, we do it. We do it in training camp each year. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't remember who won won all of them last year. Um, and the other thing is that, you know, I know you guys have been asking to talk to Wiseman, but he's he's been limited the first two days. Um, he's dealing with a groin thing and a little bit of other soreness so you know tomorrow for him is another opportunity to um, you know, keep working on his body and feeling better and you know, we hope to have him into full practice one of these days soon. Uh, what have you thought of this camp environment how you guys have been able to start a little maybe faster differently because you have so many guys back from last year? It's just uh it's competitive and that's why like it's very upbeat I mean, obviously everybody knows the way we play. We're so fast and whatnot, but it's transitioned right over. I think that we're getting right in the way into uh, you know our concepts, getting up and down, and it's been fun. To what degree? I mean, does it feel like you're sort of like further along in the book, I guess, in terms of study? But do you, do you feel like there is kind of a foundation systematically in those kinds of things? That, does that allow you to build? Easier? Yeah, I mean, just having a core group of guys, you know, the same guys we had last year, definitely helps because we just know each other, know each other's personnel, our personalities, and whatnot, and just uh, things to do well. So. Um, it carries over right into camp. Now it's just uh, getting the young guys, um, I guess, up to speed and uh, just building on what we, you know, what we did. Tigers were saying that basically that because you guys had a little bit of a defensive, you know, uh, change last year, that, that this year you guys are a lot further along with that. You don't have to go over as much. Is that true? I mean, to what degree do you feel like we can kind of start with the foundation set already? Yeah. Yeah, you hit on the head. I think that we don't have to like teach as much this year. It's more so just a refresher, and then we get right back into it. I mean, we want to pick up on the momentum that we uh, we built last year defensively towards the end of the season, and uh, carry that right over into the beginning of the season. You guys had a lot of continuity back after like, the bubble year versus now. Do you feel like it's different? How much those teams are similar from year to year? Or what did you learn about how continuity can help you back then? Oh, uh, we'll make sure I understood that. You say, say it one more time? You guys back then, after the bubble, you had uh, basically the same team going into that year. Okay. Similar situation. Oh, okay, that's what you're know, saying. Did you learn a lot about what that could look like then and how that could be an advantage, or what's different this time? Yeah, I mean, I think the commitment of this group is a little bit different than the commitment was of that group. I mean, I think that, um, you know, I think that we just kind of mesh a little bit better. I think we have a perfect, like, group of uh, young guys and, you know, veterans and whatnot, whereas there's a lot of vets in the other group and whatnot. So, so you can't teach old dog new tricks type of thing, whereas we're kind of just up to, uh, you were able to teach a lot of the young guys last year what our system was and what our foundation was going to be. In terms of the defensive system, you mentioned the changes at midseason. Were there major schematic changes, or was it just like philosophy-wise, or was it a lot of it just kind of mindset and personnel? Oh, uh, mindset, that's a good way of putting it. I think that uh, we took a little more personal, you know, especially towards the end of last season, you know, post all star break and whatnot. And um, we had to personalize it again. You know, I think that, again, it's been a competitive camp. You know, guys have been going at it. And, um, you know, that's how it's supposed to be. Is it just a carryover, though, from what you did well at the end of last season to now? Um, it has to be. Yeah, they really don't have a choice. I mean, I think that you don't you don't want to get that uh, that hangover. You know what I mean? It's, uh, you see it all the time where guys have some success and think that things are going to be easy. But, you know, I think the message has been clear that, you know, we're not going to fall into that trap and that we have to just uh, follow through, you know, with our own commitments. Personally, want to get better at on defense at this stage of your career? Are you focusing on right now? Um, 
Honestly, just, I mean, the pick and roll defense is what it is. I think that, you know, there's gonna be times where, like, it's just great and times where you gotta recover. You have to, like, um, I guess, uh, react if anything. So I guess reaction time is one thing. I mean, I feel like you can, as you more, you prep some stuff out, you know, that'll help you. And then, um, I mean, defensive rebounder, man, if we gotta be better at that, then I have to be better than the as well. What have you thought of one of your early impressions of the new guys, Cole and James, and how they fit in with this group? Yeah, um, James has been getting some decent action. He hasn't done too much uh, up and down yet, but I think that he has all the intangibles. You know what I mean? I think he's just, when he's huge, you know, he's going to go in there, mix it up, big body, get downhill. And like he keeps the game simple, so it's going to be smooth. And Cole, I mean, you can tell like he comes from, you know, uh, just, just like a great, like, um, just system. You know what I mean? I feel like he has a good, like, uh, you know, what nose for the ball, and then, um, he can get a shot off. I mean, um, it's very, he's not just a shooter. He's someone who can shoot with movement, someone who can kind of pick and pop. and. Uh, you know, I, he's, I'm very impressed with like his uh, his work ethic and like just his uh, commitment to the game. I mean, that's something that either you got or you don't. And he's something he definitely has down pat. What's uh, just want to go back to what he was asking about defense? I mean, what, what was the biggest adjustment for you guys systematically? I mean, you guys obviously talked a lot about just needing to show more presence, play with more force, and that's just kind of a constant. But like, what in terms of understanding what you were trying to do in the system, in terms of understanding what shots you were willing to give up and when which you weren't, <laughs> what took a while to get used to? It? I mean, for me personally, it's just it's different than what I've done in the past. I feel like I've always kind of played drop defense, whereas like now I'm kind of up impacting the ball a little more up at the level stuff. And, um, you know, it's something I've just never really been accustomed to. And it just took reps. I mean, I think that it wasn't like a huge dramatic change. I think it just took like reps of uh, the actual you know, system itself so I can get used to it. And then uh, for our guards as well, just that movement, because you know, those little things that we do, like as far as stunning or as far as, uh, you know, full rotator that, you know, you don't really do with other teams. So. I think it's just uh, you just had to go out there and rep it out. Well, we just heard from Rick that you had maybe some other choices of teams you could go to for this opportunity. Yeah. What made you pick the Pacers? As the Pacers? I think overall just the style of play. Um, Rick's an unbelievable coach, and, and and just to see what they did last year, right? Just to see the the run that they made, and and I felt like I could be a, another person that could help them continue to get better as a team. So, um, and also just not having a guy like me on the team. I think with Miami last year, uh, stuck behind Duncan and Tyler a little bit. Two guys who play similar as me. Who, who have earned their, who, who had earned that role. So um, overall, just coming here, it, it seemed like a great fit and opportunity. Who, if anybody, do you already have a relationship with here from the prior basketball staff? Andrew and I have been playing against each other since we were sophomores, juniors in high school. So that's been pretty cool. We went to all those camps and all-star games together. Uh, ben and Kendall are both in my agency, so I've known those guys. Um, same thing with Jairus. Uh, so it, yeah, it, it's, it's been cool even to get get to know these guys. Pascal's been great having us down in Orlando a couple of times. TJ's been a great bet to me so far. We, we know a lot of the same people, so it, it's been a great environment so far. What's it kind of been like with the, well, basically the whole team is back? And one of the very few new guys trying to fit in and get to yeah. everybody in that setting. Oh, it's been great, I and mean, I think that's that's. It's great to come into something that's that's been built, right? Like I, I know a couple years before that they were saying like guys were coming in and out all the time. Now like they have a solid core foundation. Rick Rick has been the head coach for a while. He's had he's had these guys for two three years to, to kind of build this and mold this. It's it's been a great experience to be a part of. What the, you mentioned the style of play. I mean. Uh, we obviously know what it is, just high, high pace yeah. and everything, but what's your view in terms of how, how you fit into it? What did you like about it so much? I think just, just overall shooting ability that, that I bring, right? Uh, the, the catch and shoot, the catching on the move, um, doing a lot of the actions that Buddy and, and Doug McDermott did last year and, and trying just to build on that and um, just and, and then be, being scrappy defensively, right? I, they, I know they, 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 ma they made that turn after Christmas last year and really became a good defensive team and obviously made that run in the playoffs. So I think just... And any, any any way I can help help this team, and, but I think mainly my shooting ability is, is what um, drew me into how how they played last year. Obviously, the pace the pace of play, TJ t seeing how TJ Tyrese and Andrew moved the ball, it, it seemed like a great fit. What's um, I mean, you've obviously had two ways and whatnot before. I mean, obviously you come into this having to earn a spot. What's yeah. this experience like so far? Basically, how are you kind of viewing? The opportunity and the challenge at the same time of, of knowing you got to. Yeah, no, I, I feel like I've been in this position every single year of my career, so this isn't this isn't anything new. I, I, I always say being one of those fringe guys, you got to go into camp no matter what and earn it, right? Uh, if you're on a two way, the two way is not a guaranteed spot, so. I went on a two-way with the Lakers, and I was able to make the team. And then last year with Miami, I went on the Exhibit 10 and got entered a two-way. So I feel like I've been in this situation before. Um, the coaches have been great to me. The staff's been great to me. Um, all the vets, like I, I feel like I've been, I've been a part of it, and, and I'm not um, like an outsider looking in. I'm, I'm, I'm one of the guys. So just want to continue and, and improve and, and, and try and earn my spot here. 
been like for you adjusting to that pace that you talked about since it's so much different than a lot of other places? No, it's been great. It's been, it's been great. Uh, it's Obviously, your conditioning has to be at a high level. Um, we, we, we did a conditioning test, and, and that was great. Um, so I think overall, just, just getting adjusted to it, just knowing where your shots are going to come from. Um, playing with a guy like Tyrese is different than playing with a guy like TJ sometimes because Tyrese is, is moving it quick. TJ might get on the baseline and look for you. So just learning just learn how to play with e each one of these guys as it's is gonna is gonna keep on being a learning experience, but it's been a good one so far. You think the close slider show could return in Indy? I don't know. We've been talking about it. We've been talking about it. I, I uh, I've been really focused focused and locked in on this process of trying to make the NBA. So um, I feel like one, once I get that solidified, then the sweater show will make a return. <laughs> yeah. No. I mean, what did you just like about the steps you took in summer? I mean, obviously, you had a really strong summer league performance to, to get yourself some of these opportunities. Where, where were the areas where you feel like you made the biggest growth? Where do you feel like you showed teams that, that, gave, that led to this chance? Yeah, I think oh, last year um, with the Heat, they showed me what it was going to take for me to be an NBA player, and that's to be a movement shooter. Um, to, to take on that role like a Doug McDermott, a Duncan Robinson, um, being perfect in my schemes, right, like on the defensive end, like being able to guard the ball one-on-one. -on -one. I think I took a big jump on that end. Coach Jim Boylan's been helping me out a lot on the defensive end. And then just overall, just continuing my, my development as a movement shooter and then being able to build off of that, right? We saw the jump that Duncan made last year from going from movement shooter to being able to put the ball on the ground a little bit this here and there. But I think the, the base level of, of, of who I want to become, I think I'm, I'm, I'm close, if not there.